After the Iranian missile attack on US bases in Iraq, mostly with ballistic missiles, I think it really begs the question, just how much damage could Iran really do in an all-out strike? The attack on US bases involved less than two dozen missiles. It may sound like a lot, but it was very measured. We do not know the exact numbers, as Iran has been building these in secret, including some in underground bunkers, but it is likely to have around 1,000 ballistic missiles. These vary greatly in range, warhead size, and accuracy. Most of them are relatively short range, a few hundred kilometers, but due to the proximity of many major US bases to Iran, they are well within range. This proximity makes these bases very vulnerable to attack. Flight times of these missiles could be as short as 10 minutes, giving them very little time to react. So what can the US do to protect their forces? The most obvious might be to shoot them down. This is something the US has focused on for several decades now. Desert Storm in the early 90s was a major test of this new capability, and it didn't go very well. Again, the US faced ballistic missile attacks during the 2003 war with Iraq, and it did do a much better job at defending against them. The technology has really come a long way. The Patriot, the main weapon used to shoot down these missiles, has been upgraded numerous times, and now has a special missile, the Pac-3, to do just this. Despite these upgrades, defending against ballistic missile attacks is extremely, extremely difficult. They are flying at hypersonic speeds at extremely high altitudes, sometime reaching into space. Another weapon, THAAD, has been developed and deployed against larger, longer range ballistic missiles. It has not yet been proven in real combat, but in testing, has performed well. But there are a few major downsides. Due to the speed and trajectory of ballistic missiles, you need to have your defenses in just the right position. Being even slightly out of place could make the interception impossible. Also is cost. Currently, according to the 2020 US defense budget, THAAD interceptor missiles cost $11.5 million each. More than one interceptor would also be fired at each target missile to better ensure success. And the ballistic missiles it's designed to defend against cost much less than that. An enemy could simply build more missiles than the US has interceptors. So, with these extremely expensive missile defense systems, you need to purchase enough to defend each and every military base. Right now, the US has several Patriot and at least one THAAD, possibly two, defending its bases throughout the Middle East. These are defending high profile bases such as Al Udeid, Al Dafra, Prince Sultan, and other bases. However, there was nothing defending Al Assad Air Base in Iraq, nothing to defend against the recent attack by Iran there. There are simply too many bases and too few Patriot and THAAD systems to cover them all. So, what else could be done? How about taking out the ballistic missile sites before they launch? Nearly all of Iran's ballistic missiles are either road mobile, meaning they can easily be moved around, launched from underground bases, or hidden in the terrain, popping out to fire. This makes a US preemptive strike extremely difficult. We can see several of these sites on places like Google Maps, and you can imagine US intelligence likely has a much more comprehensive map of these sites, so a strike on them could mitigate some of these missiles, but not all. It would really depend on how the battle starts. If the US had good reason to believe Iran was about to launch an all-out strike, perhaps it would be able to take out 50% of these missiles before they did launch. So what if you can't stop them? How bad would it be? These ballistic missiles are of varying sizes, carrying various warheads, ranging from 250 kilograms on the low end to nearly 2,000 kilograms in the high end. While that sounds powerful, it really is not when looking at the big picture. A 250 kilogram warhead has a blast radius around 100 meters, but in terms of actual destruction, it would destroy weaker structures like hangars within 30 meters and stronger concrete structures within 10 meters. Also, no missile is 100% accurate, especially not ballistic missiles, which typically have no or very little terminal guidance ability to adjust the impact point. While newer Iranian weapons are pretty accurate, their CEP, a figure used to describe accuracy, is around 10 or more meters itself. A larger 2,000 kilogram warhead, carried by only the largest missiles, of which Iran has fewer numbers of, has a blast radius around 300 meters, destroying buildings within 100 meters or so. While the warhead is eight times larger, it does not cover an area eight times the size, as the point of detonation is still centralized. This is one of the reasons why many nuclear-armed ICBMs began to carry multiple warheads instead of one massive one, so it can spread out its destructive power over a larger area. But also, the larger missiles, with longer ranges and larger warheads, tend to be less accurate, with a CEP 100 meters or more. When looking at an airbase, one can see many structures spread out over a large area. This means accuracy is key. Also, there are so many targets to hit at an airbase, too many to completely destroy it. You have to prioritize. 
Do you want to put the base out of commission for a day or two as part of an invasion strategy? If so, you might want to hit runways and ramps. These, however, can be paved over and repaired pretty quickly. Maybe you want to make flight operations more difficult in the long run? Then you might choose to hit fuel and ammo depots. Or do you just want to go for maximum casualties and destruction of assets like aircraft? Then you hit hangars, barracks, parked aircraft, etc. If the US had enough advance notice it was about to be attacked, aircraft would be spread out or even evacuated from the base, and personnel moved to bunkers. This is what happened in the recent Iranian missile attack in Iraq. A surprise attack could cause more destruction and loss of life. The US does have a pretty good, all-encompassing, early warning system consisting of long-range radars. This could give them a few minutes notice before impact. Not much time, but possibly enough to save vital assets and lives. So all in all, Iran does have a very large and very capable ballistic missile arsenal. However, with the sheer number of US bases in the region, and the number of vital targets which would need to be hit at each one of those bases, also missile defense systems and early warning systems, the damage might not be as total as one would think. Missiles can only do so much damage, and they are expensive. If we look at the Iraq War in 2003 for example, the US launched over 800 Tomahawk cruise missiles armed with 450 kilogram warheads. Despite the large number of missiles, they only destroyed a very small percentage of all targets. Massive numbers of strike aircraft were still required. While these missiles do provide an incredible capability, it is still limited. They are no silver bullet. Useful for quick strikes on vital targets, but not enough alone to do decisive damage. If you are worried at all about world events, war breaking out, terrorist attacks, even natural disasters like wildfires, biological threats either man-made or from nature, or even industrial accidents, don't be caught off guard. Mira Safety has the highest quality gas masks and suits to protect yourself, your family, even children. They are used by military, law enforcement, and industry professionals across the world. It's not something you would normally think of, and something you'd probably rather not think about, but this can make all the difference in the world. Mira Safety provides protection against it all, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. Use coupon code CABAL10, no space, for 10% off your first order. Check them out at mirasafety.com.